Hi, my name is George Pearson and this special Photoshop Elements video is part of a series that I have on doing photography techniques for wedding photography. You can see a few examples in here from the different videos. Now all of these are using images that are available free on the internet and I have a link in the description for you to download the videos if you want to work with the same images that I'm using in my video demonstrations. Please subscribe, click the like button, and of course always share on Facebook, Twitter, or wherever. I really appreciate that. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with the video. In this Photoshop Elements Photography project, we're going to be looking at how to increase the contrast to make a photograph a little more striking. Now, I'm be looking at and showing you three different ways to do this. The one you choose really depends upon the effect that you want. Now we're beginning with a very nice photograph already. I mean, this has a nice contrast range. It's a good photograph. We have real nice whites in here, then a complete blacks in here and here. It's a good range. So there's nothing wrong with the picture as it is. But you may want to give it more of an interesting look. And I have three different ways here. I'll show you three different techniques. One will be using levels. You can see here we've actually brightened up the image. We've kept our darks and kept our whites, but we've lightened up the midtones using our levels. The next one is brightness and contrast. You see I've added a lot of contrast and I've actually brightened more of the brights. I made the whites a lot brighter, giving us more of a contrasty look. And the third way here, I've made it a bit of a shift in the midtones. So I've brought the midtones, made the midtones more contrasty and makes the picture just, you know, tends to pop out a lot more. Again, the version that you pick will depend upon what your personal needs are for different projects. You may want to use different techniques, but I want to show you all three of these so you understand the approach to controlling the brightness and contrast of a black and white image. The first one we'll take a look at is levels up here. So there's the original, and here's our levels control. I have this set on an adjustment layer giving us more control over this. The nice thing about an adjustment layer is we can always go back and change it later on. Just double click on the icon right now. Brings up the controls and you can see here the adjustments that we've made. I've made a little adjustment in the midtones, a little adjustment on the blacks and on the whites. Okay, let's go ahead and see how this is done. I'll hide that. We'll do a new one. So we go up here to layer and new adjustment layer right there and choose levels. And then choose OK. This gives you a new layer up here. It's an adjustment layer. Now the adjustment acts like a filter and it controls anything that's underneath. Now what's underneath, what we're looking at is just the background layer. These layers are all hidden as you can see. So we're looking at just this levels layer here and the background. Now a few things you can control in here. We have the left slider control. This controls your darks and where the blacks are. That's where the black point is. This is your values in your image. Your whites are up here, your blacks are down there, and then your grays in between. You know, dark grays, mid-tone grays, light grays. So we can control where the grays become black with this first control. So I'll bring it up just a little bit. Notice as I pull this, this up, it darkens down the darks. The lights stay put, but it darkens the darks down. Also, the mid-tone tends to move with this. So I'll bring it up just a little bit put it at about 10. Just kind of darkens it down. Now if you want to, you can come in here actually type in a number. I used 9 in the last my little demo up there. I'll go ahead and put it at 9 again. So you can just type your number if you know what that number has to be. There we go. Now that's the blacks. Let's now pull the whites in a little bit. You see here, this lightens the whites up. Now the idea here is there's no real pure white. I want to have something that's pure white, so I'll bring us in just a little bit. Just enough to give me a pure white. There we go. And I'm already watching the feather or the little flowers here on her hat. If you go too far, it gets too washed out, kind of burns out, but just a little bit like that makes that pop a little bit better. And then finally, we could, can adjust the midtones in here. until it looks nice. So I'm, I'm lightening the midtones up a little bit and just kind of eyeball it. I'm just, just rocking it back and forth until I get a spot that's pleasing to my eye. So it's, again, it's a bit of a personal preference. But there we go. That's the levels control. When you're done, just click that 
and close it and those levels are set. You can bring those back up again by double clicking on the icon and there's your levels adjustment. So there is with our levels and there it is without. So we've added a nice little bit of contrast in there and made the picture pop a little more by adjusting our levels. Okay, the next one, brightness and contrast. This is an old, old technique in here. Again, we'll be doing this with a an adjustment layer. So go up here to layer, new adjustment layer, brightness, contrast. There we go. Again, just choose OK. Here's our brightness and contrast. Not that much to work with in here. See, I have just these two settings. I can adjust the brightness right there, and we can adjust the contrast. So I'll bring it up just a little bit, and the contrast up just a little bit. And I think something, something in here, I'm, I'm just again just, just visualizing it. There we go. Something a lot about like that, I've just brought up the contrast and brought up the brightness a little bit. Again, you can come in here and just click on the number and then type in a new number if you know exactly what it is that you want. So real easy, brightness, contrast, real easy. And here we go, there is without and there it is with. Okay, the final control down here. This gives you the most control. You can actually combine these. You can even you know do this plus your levels if you want to. You can combine these, but I'll just do them individually. So our final one down here, this requires a copy, working on a copy. And we're going to be using over here the enhance and adjust lighting and shadows highlights. It's right there. The reason why we're using that control over here on a copy of the image is because we don't have that option as an adjustment layer. There's no shadow highlight option in here. So we can't do it as an adjustment layer. So let's just make a copy of our background, drag it up to the new layer button. There we go. There's our copy. We now can apply that control to this copy. Now I always do a copy like this if I'm going to be changing or working on the actual image. That way I can always go back to my original as a safety. So always make a copy before you work on your actual image. Okay, so this is Enhance, Adjust Lighting, Shadows, and Highlights. Now this is kind of fun. We have a preview here. Here's without, and there's it with. Now it, it goes through, Photoshop Elements goes through and tries to make an adjustment for the picture automatically. It, it does its best guess. And if you're trying to bring out detail in your picture, this is great. We have all this detail in the hat now. You know, it's really good at doing that. It's, it, it's an amazing thing. But that's not what I want. I want to have more contrast, more of a contrasty look for this to make it more striking, not just more detail. So I'll bring the, the shadows back down a little bit. I want to have some, some shadow in here. So I'll, I'm bringing a little bit more detail in the shadows, but not too much. I want to bring the lightness down just a bit. See, as I bring the lightness down, I get more detail in the light area here. So I'm keeping some darkness up there, but I'm still adding in some more detail. There's without. So here it is. I'm bringing that up. It brings the shadows up a little bit. Gives me a little more detail in here. I darken the highlights down a little bit. That gives me a little more detail in the highlights, which is nice. And then I can control the midtone contrast in here and go a little bit to the right hand side. And that makes the midtones a little bit more contrasty. So there's without. And there it is with. So you see what we've done now. We've added in some contrast, but we've also added in some detail in her, her little hat here. We've added in a little bit of detail into the hat up here. We've kept everything else the same. We've also lightened up the faces a little bit, so they're a little bit easier to see. That was with the midtone contrast down here. So this is a great control for doing this kind of adjustment and, and making pictures. It's a little more pop to them because you can control, you can lighten your shadows. You can darken your highlights and then a little mid-tone adjustment. Choose OK. There we go. So those are my three techniques. The levels as an adjustment layer. Brightness contrast as an adjustment layer. And then, of course, over here, the shadows highlights. And this has to be done right on an image layer. So again, keep that in mind. So there's the original. And there's our final. And again, if you want to go fancy on this, you can combine. Here is that plus the levels control. So you can come in and, and do even more adjustment with your levels as well. So you have you can you know double up on these things if you want to get real fancy about it. 
But there it is, there's the three different techniques. The one you use or the combination you use really depends upon what your final output is going to be. What I would normally do would be to do the shadow highlight first, get it as close as I could with the shadow highlight, and then I would tweak it with a levels adjustment layer for my final output. Okay, there we go. That is doing high contrast black and white three different ways. Thank you for watching this special Photoshop photography project video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you will get first notice of new project videos in the future. Just click on this link right here where it says subscribe here. You can get all 12 project videos in this series along with 26 special videos demonstrating the tools and techniques that I used in these projects by clicking on this link right down here. And then thank you again for watching this training video.